It's family fishing day at Northwest Park, and this is the catch of the day. I guess this is the biggest one in this pond. Really? <laughs> I think so. Abram Q is the young fisherman that caught it, and he says he's no expert. Got lucky? Yeah. Really lucky. Texas Parks and Wildlife put 1,500 rainbow trout in the pond, but not many were biting. So far, no luck, but uh, hopefully that'll change soon. Some tried to get creative with their bait. We put some worms on the hook. We've tried corn. My sister's, she's also fished with tsetse rolls, and it worked with catfish. It's a little tricky to catching trout versus uh, uh, catching the little brim, so you'll still catch the brim, but that's exciting to them too, you know, so just to, just to catch something, you know. The City of Irving and the Irving Christian Anglers Club hosted this event to promote family fun and an interest in the outdoors. The goal, I guess, is just to get the kids out and get them out away from the video games, to get them out in, in, in nature. Jason Johnson has a young son and daughter with fishing poles to match. Yeah, I had to bring my daughter out, so, you know, we got to keep it girly for her. His son Lawson was hoping to catch his first fish. Interestingly enough, he still likes it even though he's never caught anything, so that's a good thing. Hopefully today will be the, the day he catches his first fish. One time my dad almost caught a fish. He caught, almost caught a big fish. We're interested in uh, getting kids interested in fishing, and um, this is a good way to do it. Uh, they can get started right here. The next lucky number is number 17. On top of fishing, the Irving Christian Anglers Club provided rods and reels for giveaway prizes, and there were plenty of hot dogs to go around. It all made for a fun event that has been going on for more than 15 years, in spite of occasional bad weather. That was the case last year. Some fish were caught, but it was brutal. The wind was even harder than it is today, and temperature was about, I don't know, down close to freezing. This year it was much warmer, in the upper 40s, but that was following a week of 70 degree weather. What spoiled us was the last few weeks leading up to this event. So when we woke up this morning, it's like, oh my, this is winter time. So, <laughs> but it's actually much better than the last two, the last two years. The last two years we were pretty chilly, yeah. With the success of this year's event, Parks and Recreation is planning on having a night fishing event once the weather heats up. Participants would start their night here playing games and watching movies before heading out to the pond to fish around 10 o'clock. There's a free fishing uh, week and I think it's that time, Brian. So we'll probably try to do it somewhere around that time, uh, that week that you don't have, even have a license, you know, so that maybe we'll have a bigger crowd and more people show up on the, around that, that time, Brian. So there are more chances for people to make a big catch or just develop a new hobby. Chris Blake for City Source.